Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. So uh, you might remember um, right at the beginning of the gig when I said there was going to just be a couple of moments where, if it's okay, uh, we're going to get as quiet as possible. All right. And the reason, the reason, just for five minutes, if that's okay, and the reason is for this song. It comes with a story, I and mean, if I don't tell you the story, then the song doesn't really make any sense. So just for five minutes, if that's okay, we'll get as quiet as possible. So the story is... <laughs> it doesn't usually start with me taking my shirt off, but... Uh, <laughs> hey, fuck it, what the hell? <laughs> Honestly, you don't want to see it. It's for your own good, it's going to stay on. Uh, but yeah, just for five minutes, if that's alright. Um, cool. So, listen, I, uh, I've been smoking cigarettes for a long time. I started smoking when I was about two and a half years old. No, I'm When I was about 15, and... Uh, awesome. When I was about 15, and... Um, I started smoking because I wanted to, to look cool at school, I wanted to hang out with the cool kids. And the first 300 cigarettes I had, I fucking hated, and, uh, and I kind of coughed through them. And the goal was worth it. Um, and uh, finally, when I was smoking, uh, I, I realised that... Uh, <laughs> I paid that man a lot of money, it was worth it. <laughs> but listen, when I, uh, I realised the cool kids still didn't really want to hang out with me. And uh, by that time I was, I was smoking and, um, and, uh, and I smoked for the last sort of 10 or 15 years. And, uh, and for those of you who smoke or, or have smoked, you'll know that it's... <laughs> Not getting high, no. For those of you who've smoked or, or have smoked, uh, you'll know that it's a really difficult thing to, to stop doing. For the last uh, for the last couple of years, I've been trying really hard to give up, and and, uh, and the same thing kept on happening. I'd give up for, for two or three months. And I'd read a book by Alan Carr, and, uh, and, uh, and he told me how easy it was all going to be. So I'd give up, and everything would be great. I started running in the morning, and eating salad, uh, <laughs> which is disgusting, don't bother with um, And Belfast, for a very limited time, I did a bit of yoga as well, uh, which, uh, that's not yoga, I don't know exactly what that was, but, um, but anyway, you get the, you get the picture, for, for a long time I was, I was trying to be positive, and not smoke, and then after two or three months of this, I would see somebody lighting up a cigarette, and for some reason, it would look really... Really delicious. <laughs> and uh, my dad's here tonight, by the way, everybody. <laughs> Smoking some space and getting high on your own. Having a good old time. Alright, dad. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh. Oh, <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> um. Come on, passenger, you can do this. You can do it. Come on. on. And anyway, so I see somebody smoking it, it looked fucking lovely, and I, I want a cigarette, and I go home, and I'd have this battle with myself about smoking and not smoking. In the end, I'd crumble and I'd buy a box of cigarettes and I'd smoke them all in a row whilst crying in the bath. And, uh, and uh, I never, never got that bad, I was too busy getting high, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but this kept on going on, like I'd start again and I'd stop again, it was so fucking boring and I was in America last year and I was going through one of these moments where it was really difficult. I went to bed really wanting a cigarette, so much so that I had a dream about massive dancing cigarettes and, uh, and I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning and I was like, this is, this has gone far enough, I'm just going to get up and I'm going to go buy some cigarettes. So, I got up and I put my clothes on and uh, thank God. And, uh, <laughs> it would have been a very different story. Of, uh, and I walked to the nearest gas station and because um, it. I don't know 
<laughs> this is the most confusing story ever. I've heard. Anyway, I eventually got to this gas station and there was this guy there, he was this old man, and he was on a motorbike. 